So hi everybody and welcome. This is Unreal Engine 5 tutorial for creating a collision box and activating and deactivating it. So let's get started. First of all, I am here in my first person character. Uh, you can do this with any any actor as well. Uh, has not to be a third person character. So what we are going to do first is we add a collision. So we go here on the left side to add component and right here collision. Oh, yeah. Collision. And then we can choose. We have here a box, a capsule, sphere collision. In my case, I have here already a sphere, colli uh, sphere collision. Let's make a box collision just for sake. And we name this uh, collision. I name it call test because it's just. For for YouTube and then <clears throat> what we see is we see not our collision here because it's a little bit too small so we are um, we are scaling it a little bit up you can scale it here on the right side transform go down to scale write the number which you want or which uh, what I just tried was uh, click on your keyboard it is the key R and if you click R, then you have here this gizmo, which uh, indicates now you can scale. I click here in the middle and now I scale this up. So you can see the yellow uh, box is our collision box. That's it to create the collision. But now what uh, let me compile and save this and then we continue. So so we have now our collision box. And like I said, in this video, I want to show you how we deactivated and activated and it is just a node which we have to use so what i'm going to do is i jump to the construction strip i have already here a collision and we are going to do the same so what we are going to do our call test which we created on the left side i click on it and drag and drop it in my scene and then from this node called test I drag out and search now collision. I write in collision. Collision. Yes. And then you can find here the note where it says set collision enabled. We click on it. And then this is the note which we need, but you have to set something here. Then the thing what you have to set is here a new type. And here you have to set no collision, which means you are disabling it or you set it to a collision. I use the uh, down one here, uh, query and physics, but of course you can just use one of them if it's better for your needs. And that's it. So let's make it. Let's connect this one and say no collision, which means when we watch the viewport, this will have at the start because this one is the construction script no collision at all so it has no effect but a collision box we make it not to be for nothing so we have to activate it later uh, for us uh, for a situation which we want that it has collision right so to do that i jump in my event graph and here I have a special, let's say, a special, special key binding. And this key binding is just a button. When I click on the button, it's not a key. I changed it to a button, but it works with a button as well. So if I click on the button, then uh, an animation will be played. A sound will be played and delayed in the animation mode will a little bit set back and uh, so on and this is not very important actually for this demonstration you can forget all this one but you can but what we need is the first place here when i click on this button or any k let's let's uh, forget this actually let's make it better with a k sorry for that um let's say we need a k a key so let's write here keyboard and let's choose a key let's choose whatever uh, let's choose our f key no not f key 
let's choose our H key just for this test. So when I have here my H key and it says here on top pressed, then I want that the collision uh, should be activated, for example. And how we are going to do this, the same as uh, how we set up our co uh, construction script. We need again call test. We need then from call test, we go to collision and set this one to a collision enabled. Let's do this. We go here down. I press the H key. Uh, first I need on the left side, I drag and drop my call test from here, which is represent my collision box. Then I drag out to right collision. There is our set collision enabled. I click on it. I connect pressed and I change very important. Now, no collision to collision enabled. Now it is active when I press it. That's the first part. And I can set here one more key or a flip flop. Is this working? Let's see, lip flop, which means when I press it again, I can. Let's copy this one here, disable it. And this time I connect the flip flop here down and say no collision. This flip flop is just a, sw a switcher, which means when I press one time H, it jumps to the 8, if I press again, H, it jumps to the B, and if I press again, H, it jumps back to A, and then back to B, and so forth. So you see, it is just a switcher how often you press the H. So, we have now uh, created our collision, enabled it, disabled it, and of course now you have here make a useful uh, use of it. For example, let's see. In our case, we have here the box collision, and when I say, for example, I have to set the call, uh, the box collision as well, and that is you click on call test, you go to collision, and then you can, for example, uh, you have here overlap all dynamics, for example, which means it will overlap almost all. Or you can say, for example, overlap just all for this purpose here, which means uh, which means anything which is coming through it will overlap with it. And then, and what we can do, uh, then you go down to event, uh, events and then you can create on component begin overlap, for example, or hit or whatever you want. And then, you, for example, you can go to on component begin overlap. This is most time used. You click on it and you can here make a functionality. For example, in my case, I want not a big functionality just for demonstration purposes. Let's write hello string on the screen. So let's do this. How we do this? We just write here string, uh, print string. Uh, this is that what we're in. And you see here's already a default hello in it. Exactly that we want. And I compile and save. So what happens, what I expect to happen is when I press H and then the collision will be enabled. And then if it's overlapping with anything on the way, then it print hello. Let's see if this is happening. I press here, start my game is that I press H and you see many, many hellos because it overlap with many many things. I press H again. Now it's active. I press again H. It's deactive. Okay, this is a little bit strange um, demonstration, but you see it works. Okay, that was it so far. Thanks and bye.